Hey guys, what's up? It's Trunks, and welcome to Clash of Saiyans. On today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at the Town Hall 9 Noah's Ark attack. Now, what is that? That is going to be an attack where you use every single troop and every single spell possible at Town Hall 9. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We have Honey stepping up. He's going to lay down a baby dragon to create a funnel. What? A baby dragon? To create a funnel for a queen walk? Why do that? Why waste all that camp space? But here he comes with the queen walk and the dragon is still working. Then he gets down the first wizard that he has in his camp space. And then that queen is just going to continue walking up north. Towards the 9 o'clock area, he's able to get through that cannon in that arch tower. The dragon is still working, taking out some of those point defenses on the bottom side. The air defense finally locks on to that dragon and begins working on it. But then the queen is now working up towards the top side with those healers on her getting back up. He has the balloon come in to take out the bomber tower, and then he lays a baby dragon up on the top side to go ahead and help create that funnel on the top side. Golem comes down with the wall breakers leading in behind so that he can open up this compartment. <clears throat> then he's going to come in with a witch, a Valkyrie, Pekka, Barb King, Giant, another wizard. Um, anything else coming in with this? I have no clue what else he is bringing. Lays down that jump spell, puts a free spell down on the queen and the clan castle with the rage. He's able to work his way through that with the heal spell keeping everybody up in that core as his units work through that area. The witch and the queen are eventually going to end up working around to the outside. Queen comes back inside as that witch goes around to the top. Has a hound coming into the top air defense as the giant Pekka and Golem and Barb King are working in that core. And then the balloons come out of the clan castle. He gets Barb King down over at the 3 o'clock area to go ahead and start working on cleaning up some of that trash. Why not? Sends in a hog on the top side to start working on the archer tower. And then the queen is working on the cleanup with the Barb King still in the core. Still has that ability on him. And then the balloons are going to work their way around the top side from the three o'clock area gets that haste spell down so he's able to get out of range of that sweeper before it's able to affect his balloons and then they're just going to work their way into the final wizard tower as the pekka and the queen and the barb king which and everybody else with that minion work around through the bottom side to go ahead and clean up the bottom side to secure the three star now is he serious on this I guess so. He's able to pull off the three star. We'll go ahead, take another look at this. Um, he comes in once again, like I said, starting off with the baby dragon to help create that funnel, push that queen up top. Just insane on this. Um, if you guys are ever thinking about using this attack, um, make sure that you have the three star pretty much in the bag. Um, this is 100% a troll attack. Um, if you're going to be using this, as you can see, this guy does not have most max out bases. This was a farm war. He has the expos on the ground, which helped make it. Um, but this is the ultimate um, your base stinks attack. Um, if you're able to use one of every troop, how you're able to keep up with it, I have no clue. Um, he must have been scrolling for days to figure out where he needed to deploy what. Um, but as you can see, he gets that queen on that queen walk. She's able to take out a ton of value for him. Um, and then just a single balloon gets the bomber tower down and ends up getting in there and doing some good damage to that wizard tower. Um, that baby dragon, huge value for that as well, sneaking around on the top side, taking out a ton of the stuff to funnel. Um, and then he's able to get in the core, place a perfect freeze and a poison to just go ahead, take out that whole clan castle um, with all of his troops in there. And then they're going to get in that core and just do work on the Tesla farm. Um, this is why symmetric bases do not work in the current meta. Um, it just is too easy for you to get in there, know where everything's at, plan a perfect troll attack like this, and then come through and wreck a base. Um, it's just insane that he was able to pull this off, like I said, with the amount of scrolling. Uh, you have one of basically every single troop that is available at Town Hall 9. Um, he told me, he basically said, hey, I have an attack for you. You need to go check it out. I thought it was going to be something really good and ended up finding out that it was extremely good. Um, I was laughing for a good amount of time. Um, but like I said, this is why when you get the farm wars, you can have fun and just go in trolling people. Um, and there's really only one thing to pretty much say when you get a base like this. Nanana -na boo boo, stick your head in doo doo. So yeah, that pretty much explains it. 
Um, if I was him watching this replay, I wouldn't be too happy after I watched this. Um, but then it would strive to make me go back and fix my base building. Um, but that's going to be it for today, guys. I just wanted to bring you a little fun video um, showing you some of the cool stuff that we're doing on the side if we have the ability to. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the bottom. I'll try to answer everything for you. But until next time, guys, this is Trunk signing out.